We're back with more 3DS stuff. My recent, old, but new again obsession. <laughs> this time we're talking about some games that I recommend for cozy gaming on the 3DS or 2DS, whether you might still be able to find it in a physical copy or you want to buy it from the eShop before it closes down around this time next year in 2023. At least where I'm from, 3DS games have already been a little bit higher in price even before the announcement was made by Nintendo that the eShop would close down. But I reckon that the prices might still keep going up in the next little while here because I noticed that since I put up my buying my first 2DS XL video that a lot of channels have been covering the 3DS again as well, which is very, very exciting for me because I love seeing other games that I can purchase. This list will be focused on my favorite games that I recommend. Oh, I should probably quickly talk about where I'm filming right now because I haven't really recorded anything here besides gameplay videos in a little screen and the reason for that is because it has been a work in progress for a while. I changed a few things, you know, still a work in progress. Don't mind that thing behind me. It's a uh, a lot of things that I still have to unbox. There's also one of my little babies napping. <laughs> but yes, an updated desk tour is probably going to be happening very soon and I'm so excited for that. But for this video, let's focus on the 3DS games. Starting off with a cozy gaming staple and the first game that I started my first Switch cozy gaming video with. <laughs> and that is Animal Crossing New Leaf. I just thought it would be right to start off with this game and basically this is the Animal Crossing game on the 3DS. It has you take on the role of a mayor in this budding town and you basically just revitalize it and make it attractive for all the cute animal villagers to move into. I absolutely adore this game. If your first Animal Crossing game was New Horizons and you're wanting to um, play a little bit more of this adorable franchise, I highly recommend New Leaf. My first one was Wild World on the DS, but I've probably spent the most time on New Leaf and it was just such a comfort game to me. What I love about this one is that it's both more limited than New Horizons, but also more expanded in some ways because it offers like different villagers that we can access in New Horizons and other items that we have yet to see even with the last larger update. And since the Switch game obviously did amazingly well, copies of this, at least where I'm from, it's quite hard to find a physical copy of this as well because I feel like a lot of people are just wanting to hold on to theirs because you can only just keep one save file per cartridge or people are reselling it for crazy amounts because they know that it's a popular game. So if you're not wanting to purchase a physical copy, I do recommend getting it from the eShop. And as a follow-up to this one, Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer is like the Happy Home Paradise version of New Leaf. It has you meeting all the different animal characters as well, and they have just like Happy Home Paradise. They ask for their cute little requirements of what they want in their dream home and it is up to you to make that happen for them. These two games alone personally make it really worth it to own a 3DS already. A game that probably won't come as a surprise to you if you've been to my channel before or if you've seen my other 3DS videos. Fantasy Life. <laughs> I love this game because it pretty much brings Together, all the different genres that I truly enjoy from different games. Mainly it is an action adventure RPG and you play as this hero that's supposed to rescue the world from this impending doom. <laughs> but besides the main story and basically the part that I enjoy the most about it is that you can choose from 12 different life classes. There is a combat class, there's a gathering class, and my personal favorite which is the crafting classes. And you can specialize in one life or dabble between a few. I personally like trying out one of each. <laughs> or if not, this gives a huge replayability factor to the game because you can always go back and choose a different life or choose different combinations. The world is vibrant and charming. The colorful cast of characters are well written in my opinion. Very comedic dialogue as well. It is just so witty and I love the banter between all the characters. It is such an adorable game and I think that a lot of you will love this one as well. This title, unlike Fantasy Life, unfortunately, 
currently. I'm still crossing my fingers that it one day reaches the switch, but Rune Factory 4 was remade into Rune Factory 4 Special for the switch, but if you're wanting to experience it on the 3DS, which is what it was originally made for, then I do highly recommend this game. There is something about playing games on their original hardware that I just really personally enjoy, and for whatever reason, if you're not familiar with Rune Factory, feel free to check out my Rune Factory 5 videos for the switch, by the way. <laughs> but also it is a fantasy story of season type of game. It is a farming life sim but with RPG elements as well. Very very nice twist to the usual farming life sims that we love so much. It just adds a little bit more adventure and action with all the monsters and combat and the characters are just really get to know as well in any Rune Factory game. On the note of Farming Sims, may I recommend Story of Seasons Trio of Towns. I do really like this one. I think I mentioned in my 3DS collection video that this might be my all-time favorite Story of Seasons game on the 3DS. What's fun about it is that you can travel between these three towns and each town has like special crops you can collect, special furniture and other items. There are different themes to each town and the characters that live there reflect like that as well. One is like a traditional very country type of farm that we see a lot in the farming sims but the other is more like a tropical beachy destination and the last is like an East Asian small village feel so it's just really nice to see this variation from you know again the typical farming game that we would normally see. This by the way I'm not sure if there's just not a lot of um, copies of the game that were made but I found this game actually is quite expensive when trying to buy it physically, so maybe it wouldn't be a terrible idea to get it digitally. And I've got another title for you that I actually don't hear about much, if at all, and it's also quite expensive to buy physically as well. I think this one because it came out closer to the end of the 3DS life cycle, that is Ever Oasis. I found this game to be really unique and fun, and unfortunately, I sold my copy of this game a while back when I thought that I was done with gaming, <laughs> and now I'm struggling to find another copy for a really decent price, so digital might not be a bad way to go for this one. Well, Ever Oasis, like the name might hint a little bit, is about building a little oasis space. So the world sort of falls into chaos and you have to create an oasis and go on these journeys to find other people to live with you in that oasis and open up shops and basically try to regrow a thriving town once again. It's an action adventure RPG. There are dungeons, there are puzzles. I think something that fans of Legend of Zelda might really enjoy actually, but yeah, it's a shame that I don't hear about this much. It's a really cool game and I highly recommend you to check it out on the eShop if you can. Tomodachi Life. If you liked Miitopia on the Switch and you haven't played the Miitopia on the 3DS, there is also Tomodachi Life, which is basically like kind of The Sims, but me versions. Kind of hard to explain. Basically, you can make these little me's of, you know, the people that you know, and that's kind of funny because they're each assigned um, different roles within the game, and they live together in this almost apartment complex type of location and you don't really know what will happen from it. It can be super funny because all these random friendships or romances can ensue. It's just all in good fun, I think. Very lighthearted, very silly. You can collect different food items, clothing, furniture for their little homes and it's a game I feel that just doesn't take itself too seriously and therefore just extremely fun. <laughs> it is based in real time as well so depending on when you pop into the game there are different events that might be happening between all the different me's and different items that are available um, in the shops as well. Super random, super fun. Another one that I really want to own physically but I just haven't been able to find one at a decent price in my city so but I do highly recommend it and hopefully we still see it on the Switch one day. Nintendogs plus cats. I don't think I need to explain this choice too much. Um, when are we going to get a Nintendogs for the Switch? I don't know. 
we may never so get it for the 3ds instead this one <laughs> instead of only dogs there are cats as well another one that i don't see a lot of physical copies for so get it on the 3ds it's just what can be more cozy than hanging out with a virtual dog or cat don't tell my dogs though <laughs> I think my dog heard me. <laughs> okay, he wants to stay on my lap again. <laughs> Next game is Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. That is a mouthful, but <laughs> both games amazing on their own, but then they do this crossover game on the 3DS, which I think is just so brilliant. Mixing in their two different worlds and their two different specialties. Phoenix Wright finds himself doing these witch trials, which is similar to the court trials in his standalone games and then Professor Layton, poor guy, has to investigate how he ended up in this strange world that he shouldn't even be in in the first place. I think it's just a really cool way again to mix the two worlds together and super enjoyable. Another title I hope to get soon in a physical copy but if not definitely recommend checking out on the eShop. Gucci and Yoshi's Woolly World is just such an adorable take in a Yoshi's World type of game. Yoshi and Pucci are like little yarn forms in this yarn world and I actually fun fact have three different colors of the yarn Yoshi's. You might be able to spot them behind me <laughs> but I adore Yoshi and I love Pucci and Yoshi games are usually a very relaxing platformer for me because platforming games other ones at least can be a little bit stressful for me personally <laughs> but yoshi games have been a staple for me since the game boy days and this is one that i highly recommend for cozy gaming on the 3ds but speaking of platforming fun i do also really recommend kirby's epic yarn on the 3ds also that yarn theme but this time Kirby and in Kirby's world. As with all the other different Kirby games, depending on the title, there is a new unique way to use his abilities that coincides with the specific game. So this time with his yarn form, he has his yarn abilities as well. I mean, it's Kirby. What can go wrong? <laughs> 3DS has some of the best Kirby titles in my opinion, but Kirby's Epic Yarn is the one that I found to be the most cozy, so that's the one that I will include in this list, but any Kirby game on the 3DS I think you can not go wrong. If you like monster catching or monster hunter specifically, or maybe even monster hunter stories 2 on the Nintendo Switch, the first title to the Monster Hunter Story series actually came out on the 3DS. I was able to play this on the 3DS when it first came out and I really adore it for what it is. The regular Monster Hunter as well still really fun. I just don't think it's for me necessarily. I do tend to go for the more cozy, relaxing, cutesy games when it comes to Nintendo. Those are the types of games that I enjoy playing on a handheld and then for the more sort of bigger, expansive, story-driven games I like playing on PC or a different console. The Monster Hunter Stories I think is just perfect for myself as someone who enjoys Pokemon and other games that involve sort of catching monsters and taming them <laughs> and maybe using them for battle and things like that. So this definitely has that but with its own storyline. In this one you find your village being attacked by a big bad monster and it's basically a you to bond with your current monster and to train others to help you in your adventure. And I just love the art style and overall direction of where this took the Monster Hunter series for sure. Last but not the least, I did mention that I love monster catching so I will also throw in Pokemon games to this list. Pokemon games on all systems are pretty much pretty expensive to buy, so if you're able to get it a little bit less on the eShop, then maybe that is the way to go, but pretty much any of the Pokemon games on the 3DS were extremely fun. My personal favorite might be Pokemon Sun and Moon, later expanded to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I loved all the Pokemon games on the 3DS because it took us for the very first time into 
3D versions <laughs> of Pokemon games, but why I loved Sun and Moon is because of the very unique feeling, in my opinion, um, environment. It's set in the Alolan region, very beachy, very tropical, kind of like Hawaii. <laughs> and instead of the gym battles, you get these island trials. I love the Alolan versions of the Pokemon and the storyline as well I found to be pretty intriguing and me engaged throughout the whole way. So that is my favorite cozy games for the Nintendo 3DS and games that I highly recommend you to check out on the eShop before it goes down. I do still have quite a bit of time but I am already noticing you know prices going up for physical games so it might be a good idea to check these games out on the eShop but also I am noticing that some publishers are putting on sales for their 3DS games. So I would definitely keep an eye out on the 3DS eShop or any Nintendo news for these sales as I really think more will happen as we count down to the inevitable shutdown of this shop in about a year-ish. So <laughs> let me know below what your favorite cozy game is for the 3DS slash 2DS. Please feel free to check out my other videos on it as well. I will link it in the cards or in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I will see you next time.